There's no I in Solstice. Well, well, there is. Well, yes, there is. I'm trying to get it removed. Just say it once. God, these lines. Can you believe I remember them? Really wild. I think we all know somebody like Trey. He's kind of an amalgamation of a lot of people. I do train with a trainer, and uh, I've stolen some stuff from him, but I don't know, Trey is just kind of um, the uber upbeat Equinox trainer that I think we've all experienced. Yeah, I know, that's why I did this. They're called air quotes. Does everybody know? I think so, air quotes are pretty big now. It wasn't initially written for me, but over the course of the five seasons, as I played the character, it became more and more something that evolved into a little bit more of something in my voice, even though I'm, I'm not like Trey. I don't love to work out, gotta be honest. Hey! Hey! Abby, put those away, I'm kidding, you're at a party, come on! Abby and Alana are two of my oldest friends, and so, not oldest, they're, they're young and beautiful. They're two of my dearest friends, and so working with them has been really, um, it's been such a incredible, privilege, not only because they're so talented and funny, but also because we're so close, it's it's just so lucky that we've gotten to make a show together. Trey, I love your place. You know what, also, we brought wine, so I'm gonna go open it in the kitchen. <laughs> I have some real Alana-isms in my life, and I also have, so I think we're all a little bit of both. Hopefully I'm a healthy balance of each, you know. That was both, that was me doing Alana and Abby. Abby. This is my impression, right? This is my Alana, and this is my Abby. Yeah, there you go. Abby, when you said Kirk Steele man on a mission, a c mission, what do you mean? Well, I just said Kirk, but you've now confirmed that you were a porn star. Oh, thank you for calling me a star. My favorite Trey moment is probably Kirk Steele, um, because we really got a deep dive into his past, his history. So before oh, Trey was my boss, oh, he was a porn sorry. star. But there's so many. I think some of the most fun we've had on set is when Abby and I are in her office, which is a storage closet at Solstice. Trey, this isn't my office. Yeah, it is, all your stuff's in here. And we're in a very tight space because it's literally at a working gym. We do shoot the show in a working gym and on location all over the city. So actually shooting with people who are squatting and grunting next to you is kind of a trip. Help! He's choking, help! Help! Trey, Trey, help! Oh, somebody help, help. Trey, help. Help. The Mrs. Doubtfire episode is really near and dear to all of us because all of us, it's one of our favorite movies. And Mara Wilson, who's in Mrs. Doubtfire, is in the episode, which is really cool. That's also one of the first emotional episodes, so it's a, it's a real emotional turn for the characters. And it felt like a kind of a growing up for us, and it was a really fun one to shoot. Keep those hips back. Nice. Can we stop? I just honestly want to go home and watch Friends. Oh, I love, love Friends. Friends. Shania was a terror. Shania was a complete terror. What a diva. No, she was so nice, so down to earth, so willing to do anything. Shania, take five. How about 15? I'm gonna hit the smoothie bar. Man, I feel like a smoothie. And it, she's, a joke that's been on the show for a while is that Abby in lying one day says, I train Shania Twain truly because it sounds like train. And then I think Shania saw and reached out and was like, I'll do it, I'll be on the show. And so we then wrote the episode where Trey actually trained Shania Twain. This is so hard. And it was such a dream come true for all of us. It was, it was bizarre, it was life imitating art, or vice versa, art imitating life. One of the two. You know what, today is a new day. Shutching. Bazinga is so insane because it's a Big Bang Theory line, but Trey loves all things pop, you know, all things pop culture, top 10 hits on iTunes, Big Bang Theory, anything that's really mass is, is uh, Trey's favorite thing. Uh-oh, what do we have here? I think I realized that the show had the impact it had when I was recognized out of the country for the show. The show actually is an, now an international show, and especially because people can watch it digitally and on the Comedy Central app. I think that's when I was like, oh wow, this is wild that I am in Tokyo and someone recognized me from Broad City on the subway. Isn't it nuts when you think about how much sh we have done together since we met? I hope people who watch Broad City get a sense of the actual love and friendship that is behind the show because the show comes from a place of love and it's about a love story between Abby and Alana and about two actual friends. I hope that that comes through. I also hope for people who uh, have lived in New York, they see a side of New York that feels really real because every story comes from a place of truth to somebody in the writer's room. And for people who haven't lived in New York, I hope it gives them a glimpse uh, into the true terror that it can be to live in New York. And 
true privilege because it's both and it's a both a love letter to the city and also a suicide note you know because it can be tough it can be hard it's a hustle living in new york is a real hustle did amelia Earhart wait to be asked to fly around the world definitely not she asked and then they said no but she still did it and she died but she like died doing it exactly I'm doing it again, I'm asking someone else out. I think Broad City shows a real friendship that is one where the characters can be rude, but they're never mean. It's a show, I think, that portrays people who really like each other. And I don't think that happens on TV all the time. I think there's a lot of shows where people are acerbic or sarcastic or don't really like each other. And this is a show that's truly about two people that love each other. And I think that's one of the reasons why it's special to people. Thank you.